putting you through now. Hello. On time, I see. Yes. I'm hoping we can put yesterday behind us. Me too. Good. All right for a break at four, dinner at six? So, everything all right? Yeah, just tell me what to do and I'll do it. How about unwrapping this baking that I did and making us a cuppa? Oh, and those pencils all need new leads. Hello. Any chance I can get this report copied and collated today, please? Ah, uh, it'll be our pleasure. Thank you so much. Kia ora, Shortland Street Hospital. Ah, uh, thank you. If you just take a seat, the nurse will see you shortly. I'll put you through to her voicemail. Hey, Pops. Hey, listen, did you hear about Sophie and Brody's new plan, staging a cocktail evening as the resident experts? Brody's idea. Thick as thieves, those two. The pair of them had roaring hangovers this morning. Well, Sophie's committed to running the bar, but I think she might be leaning on him a bit too much. Yeah, Sophie's talking about business being fun. Business isn't supposed to be fun. So, uh, you gonna go to that cocktail evening, keep an eye on things? I guess I could pop in after my shift. Good man. Freddie was very sweet last night, defending my honour with that sleazeball mixologist. Sacked him on the spot. Isn't that Sophie's job? The guy tried it on with Sophie too, I think. Very protective of her, our Brody. Yes. What's wrong with that? He and Soph got hammered yesterday and ended up sleeping together. So? I'm just surprised that she would go for him. Brody's lovely. He's a walking disaster area. Well, he's done all right at the bar, hasn't he? I guess. And Sophie likes him. But she's still getting over Kieran. Well, maybe last night goes to show that she is over him. I just don't think sleeping with your bar manager is a good call. If he makes her happy, where's the harm? I thought you guys were tired after your big adventure. We tolerate each other. Mm -hmm. Evening. Limpy. Limpy, you're here for the cocktails on the prowl for loose women. Oh, we were going to have our post-AGM party here, but three of our members had better things to do. This is the taxidermy club, right? There's a breakaway group forming. <laughs> taxidermy club is by definition a breakaway group from the human race. How much weirder can you be? <laughs> Gentlemen, a care for a cocktail? Ah, uh, beer for me, thanks, Sophie. A beer? Are you sure you wouldn't uh, rather one of our unique cocktails? OK, I'll tell you what. On the way home, I'll clap my head with two bricks. That way I save on the money and <laughs> only feel like I've had a night on cocktails. If Sarah insists. <laughs> Try White wine, thanks. Gentlemen, you're quite clearly men of distinction. I'll tell you what. If you can guess the ingredients in a cocktail that we make for you, you don't have to pay for it. Agree? You're on. Un momento. <laughs> is this really a good idea, gambling our profits? Well, there is gambling, and then there's gambling. They are the punters, and we are the house. And as we all know, the house never loses. So, still jet lagged? Oh, fine. How's TK? Oh, good. Good. Still working hard on the clinic back home. Good. Hmm. Look, I'm sorry. I know you feel bad about this, but how was I supposed to know that you were going for the EA job as well? Well, no, you couldn't. It's, it's fine. It's OK. What's the deal with Brooke these days? Everyone's saying she's turned friendly or something. Libby, welcome back. Good to see you. Good to be back. Mm. Yvonne tells me you're going for a job here. The executive assistant's position. Ah, so you'll have some competition. <laughs> well, not really. Libby's got the experience and the qualifications. Hmm. Well, your stint in America will certainly add to your CV. Why don't you come up and tell me about it now, if you've got the time? Go on. We can catch up properly later. I still think you should apply for that job. What's the point? Callum can't wait to get Libby back on the payroll. There's, there's uh, ginger in all three of these. Huh? Narrowing it down. Yeah. So, gentlemen, would you care to make your final choices? I will just remind you that if you win, you don't have to pay for these magnificent cocktails. Mm. 
Bargainy's choice or Survivor Scotland? Okay, whiskey, uh, ginger, lime. Oh, uh, bitters. I think we should go for Bargainy's choice. Oh, Bargainy's choice it is. And the cocktail that you have been drinking is. Adventures in Science. Ah, of course. It was vodka and whiskey. <laughs> now, which one of you gentlemen would like to pay? I'll bite. <laughs> Boys, uh, one another round? I'm in. Libby? Oh, absolutely. We just need to be more scientific about this. <laughs> Genius. Assuming you didn't cheat. Well, the house always wins. Always. You're bad. I am. <laughs> but everybody's on, happy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, there you go. Hello, love. Hi. How are you going with Yvonne? Good. She's been very nice. And you're not talking too much? No. Good girl. See, it's turned out fine. Yeah. It's all good. So you have to work, eh? Quiet. Which is why Yvonne's allowed herself to run off to the toilet. You two not getting on? She doesn't trust me to do anything. She dives over the top of me to get to the phone in case I forget to say Kyoda or I put someone through to mortuary when I should have put them through to medical. One mistake. I can't do right by her either. She's kind of my mother-in-law, by the way. I didn't think she had a son. She doesn't. I play for the other team. Oh. So, does she totally hate you or what? No, you just have to keep proving that you're trying. I want to. There's a job that needs doing for Dr. Potts, but she won't let me. We'll do it while she's away. I can't. I totally killed it before. Luckily, Yvonne managed to retrieve everything from the hard drive. I tried reading the manual. It only makes me feel stupider. I had your break yet? When Yvonne comes back? Why? I have a cunning plan. Do you want to hear it? So you guys are sorted now, eh? Friends and stuff? Love this man. I want to have his children. <laughs> uh, sorry, gentlemen. I should have said before we don't actually allow any animals in this establishment. It's Luke's guide possum. It allows him to function like a normal human being. <laughs> Come on, you can't deny the man is guide possum now, will you? Okay, he can stay. <laughs> I suppose it's my shout. <laughs> Stay. <laughs> <laughs> right, what haven't we had yet? Uh, dinner. If I could recommend the seafood risotto in particular. Perfect, I've one of them. Me too. I'll have the, um... Uh... He'll have one of those too. <clears throat> right, I'll have the chef prepare your meals right away. Uh, you got them to eat here as well? Too easy, they're hammered. Brilliant. Okay, well, my good news is that those women over there love tonight. So much so that they want to hold their corporate event here. A booking of 25. Oh, go you. Go us. 